Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying Potchki for the first time ever. Um, and I want to give the credit for this video to John, which John does not have any clue that he was the inspiration for this video. Uh, John is a, a comments on all my videos and he left a comment saying that it was uh, Potchki day or Potchki season and I thought what it, it, I didn't know this was a thing so had no idea this and was we've a seen thing. these around I've seen a box of these they yeah. sell them in boxes at Meyer yeah. and we've never bought them, never bought them cuz I thought well that looks like a powdered donut and so I just didn't know there was a whole thing and it, it is. I'm going to tell you about it in case you're like me and you don't have a clue. These were $2.99 each at Kroger. We have the Bavarian filled, lemon filled, and raspberry. So um, these were the only three flavors that our Kroger had right now. <clears throat> However, uh, one of the traditional flavorings is like the uh, rose. Ugh. Yeah. Glad we didn't have that. <laughs> I know. I don't know that we would care for that. I never uh, like rose. So other traditional flavorings uh rose lemon orange strawberry cinnamon chocolate mm, cinnamon. Um, That'd be good. yeah cinnamon would be really good um it says i got this information from the polish center of wisconsin so if you google polish center of wisconsin that's where john lives um you can find out this information because i really had no clue about these uh, they are a fruit-filled pastry similar to jelly donuts, only richer and more delicious. Made from eggs, butter, sugar, and yeast, they are filled with prune, cherry, or rose hip preserves, deep, deep fat fried, and glazed with sugar. Sounds like good, wonderful things. <laughs> they do. Potchki are especially popular just before the start of Lent, when the church traditionally prescribed abstinence from sweets and animal products. In Poland, the Thursday before Ash Wednesday marks the beginning of the last week of the carnival season, a time of feasting and general merrymaking that follows the end of the Christmas season on January 6th and last until Ash Wednesday. On Fat Thursday, lines form outside pastry shops all over Poland and Pochki along with other sweet treats are consumed in large quantities. In America, people of Polish descent descent treat themselves to Pochki on Shrove Tuesday, also called Fat Tuesday, or in French, Mardi Gras. Polish Americans have even coined the term Pochki Day to describe the annual celebration. Hmm. So, this is our first step. So, thank you. And it all has to do with Lent. And, yeah, um, thank you to John, uh, because I just, I've seen them, didn't know it was a thing. So, and we, uh, depending on how well we like them, we might look for other flavors and other stores. Yeah, and there's a, is there, there are different brands or different boxes of them too, so. Okay, so let's talk about that, that since you brought that up. What's funny is, is I don't know who made these. Yeah. Because it said they were distributed by Bake Crafters Food Company. If you do a search of Bake Crafters Food Company, it comes up with this food distributor that distributes to schools. Uh, yeah, yeah, so like preschool through grade 12, they distribute foods. These are not on their website. I did a specific search for Pochki on their website. It's not on there, or it didn't come up. So, um, it so does not who tell they're who they're made by, what state, or anything. So, um, this is a 14 ounce package. It was $2.99, like I said. These are the Bavarian filled, and they, one is 330 calories. We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to talk about it, but I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, but that's it. I'm assuming this is going to make a big mess. So. It looks pretty sugary, but it looks like it's pretty well stuck on there. You know what I do. It's huge. <laughs> The big as my face. Gosh. Oh, it just smells wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I'm gonna cut these. I just work. wanna stick my face in one without even cutting it. Just stick my face in it. I don't see a ton of cream in there. No, I don't. It looks denser than a donut, doesn't it? There's a little cream. See, there's yeah, a little, a little bit. So much. So we got these at Kroger. Um, 
I think Meyer sells more of these, so we're gonna try to look at Meyer. I'm gonna cut this one more time just to see. I tell you what. They didn't put much cream in it. They didn't put much cream in it. I, I don't really got any cream at all. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'd like some more cream. They're not nearly as sweet as I was expecting them to be either. Or at least those were. The Bavarian cream is delicious when you get it. When you get a piece of So like of I took a bite of just that cream. Right. It is delicious. It's full of flavor. It's uh, incredibly sweet. Um, this, the, this, this particular brand, or that one particular one we got, just doesn't have a lot of, in it. No, it didn't. Um, I still like it. I it's like good. it. It's a very dense donut, basically. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that's nice. Okay, so this one's 330 calories for the lemon. Yeah, I'm thinking um, Myers is... Um, which one do you want? This one? Meyer has a different brand, I think. They're in like a... Or is it a white a box, box with red? Yeah. yeah. Or a red box with white? No, it's white with red. Okay. Writing. Oh, now there's tons of cream in that. There we go. That's what we want. We want lots of cream. It looks like it's mostly cream. Yeah, I want... That's what I want. Mostly cream. Or not cream, but... Look at that. Color yeah. I don't know if you can see that, that yellow. That yeah, is, that's like a pie. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. That's better. I saw pictures though on the internet of people lined up outside the shops. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure these are a hundred times better when they come from a bakery. When they're fresh. I know. I don't know that. I don't know any place around here that does those. Maybe like, we like, or Mondelli's I was gonna say, like, or we, we, we like a place called Mondelli's. Mm -hmm. They make awesome birthday cakes. And, they might um, do stuff like this. Mondelli's might. Yeah. I don't know. We've never known to look. Mm -hmm. They're, it doesn't have the flavor that I thought it would no, have. No, they're not nearly as, they're, they're not nearly as strong and as sweet as a, like a raspberry cream donut, like a filled donut. Well, we haven't tried the raspberry. I know, yet. so I'm excited, but I'll be able to, I know what a raspberry filled donut is. Yeah, makes. these are the least uh, calories. These are only 290. But I know, I'm very familiar with what a raspberry Feel done yes. tastes like, so I'll be able to tell you. Like no. a Krispy Kreme. Yeah. So, so my, um, I have two favorite Krispy Kremes, and one of them is the Raspberry Field. That's one of my favorites. So, I will be able to tell you. I'm not a raspberry. Did we not get a lot? Did oh, the yeah. other no, side no, no, have no. more? No, there's tons. Um, I will be able to tell you which one I like better. And hopefully no one gets offended <laughs> if I say the Krispy Kreme because I mean it's just we're we're judging on these this brand. Like I said, we're gonna have to try another brand. I love the raspberry. That's my favorite. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's still, I don't think, quite as sweet or overly flavored as it's what you donut. get as just a regular donut. Yeah. I like the texture of the pastry. The pastry is kind of a denser pastry. Uh -huh. um, tons of powdered sugar on it. Mm -hmm. But you would think all that powdered sugar would push it over the top as far as sweetness goes, but it doesn't. It's, it's really, it's good, but it doesn't like make it super sweet. I think I would be good on that day eating my fill though. Oh yeah, it could definitely be my fill. They do they do have a fried flavor too. Uh huh. You can tell. I could fried. eat a lot of those. Yeah, raspberry is definitely my favorite, and then the lemon, the Bavarian. At least the one we tried really didn't have a lot of creamy in it. It that didn't. Was the problem. It didn't. Um, yeah, uh, if it had had more, it would have been better. I think it would have been a close uh, for first place because once I did get that center, it's it's absolutely delicious. It's very sweet and everything, but. The lemon just hardly had any flavor at all. Yeah. Um, so for me, the raspberry, yeah, I raspberry would totally get it again. Um, but like I said, we're going to look for other ones if they're still out there. Um, 
I didn't know and John wrote in his comments something about you won't be able to buy them after the 28th or something like that he said and I thought oh wow this must you know this is a big deal and he wasn't even meaning he wasn't recommending them to me or anything he, he was, was just, just saying it passing. stating it in passing and it's like oh wow well, I better go get these <laughs> um we're always up for a good donut pastry <laughs> oh absolutely yes absolutely and in that article it said that they stand in line and get other desserts too i wonder if what there else? are other specific polish desserts that they get that we don't know about so like these were new to us what else do they have that that's maybe completely different than what we have um but this was a lot of fun mm -hmm. uh, like i said if i can find more i'll get more and uh, see if we can find maybe a brand that you all might know too um because i'm sorry i don't know who actually made these mm -hmm. Um, but I enjoyed the video. I hope you all did too. If you've had these before, let us know. Let us know which flavors you've had. I know they make some wild flavors, but I mean like the more traditional flavors. Which one is your favorite? And thanks for watching.